Hi, this is Paul Southam with Distant Germ, and today we're at Five Star Chevrolet, Sam Pax Five Star Chevrolet in Carrollton, Texas, and we have an exciting announcement for you. We're here with Robert Martinez, who is our UVC specialist, who's just joined the team, and you're gonna wanna know what UVC is because Distant Germ now just got a whole lot better because of it. Now, of course, because of the coronavirus, everyone is concerned about how clean their home is, how clean their business is. And you know what? We've been telling you all about Disengerm, how it disinfects and protects, but we're gonna take it one step further now with this machine. Now I know what you're thinking. It's the same thing I was thinking. What in the world is a UVC machine? What does this light do? What does this thing do? Is it from Star Wars? No, it's not. This is a real world item. And this is a 400 watts of power which Robert is gonna tell us all about. Robert, what exactly are we looking at here? Uh, thank you, Paul. Uh, I'm gonna explain very, very basic what UVC light does. UVC is a very powerful light that comes naturally from the sun, but the ozone that covers the air prevents to that light to gain into us because it's a little bit powerful for us to have it normally. This machine emulates that same power. So this machine is gonna break the DNA of the bacteria and the viruses, and it's gonna die. But in the process, it's gonna limit the capacity of reproduce that bacteria. So that's why it's 100% effective. That's the system, Paul. Well, one thing I'm curious about is because if this is like the sun, it would, you would think that you would be able to be in the room when you could do it, but you should not be in the room. No, no, you cannot be in the room during the process because it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. So it can be very, very dangerous to your health, but doing it with a professional that is trained to do it safely is very safe right. to do it. Just because it's a pretty blue light does not mean you should look at it. Remember in Raiders of the Lost Ark when, when uh, Indiana Jones opened up the Ark? Kind of the same thing. You just don't want to look at it as much as you'd like to. So you turn this on, you leave the room, and then, well, actually you control it with a remote. Yeah. And then after the place has been disinfected and protected with disingerm, here comes this thing to break up the DNA. And I'll bet you're surprised, no matter how clean someone thinks their place is, their business, their home, <laughs> you're gonna see you're yeah. seeing a lot more than people oh, are living absolutely, behind that. because the light is going to get into the any little space that we cannot reach with a with a swipe or something. Mm -hmm. The light is going to get there. That's why it's more effective. Now I understand these are actually used in hospitals, and some of them even have between operations. This light is already built in, so if you understand what I'm saying here, is that it's hospital grade, and <laughs> the hospitals are supposed to be that clean, but sometimes they're not, right? No, it's because of, uh, we got a lot of bacteria out there that is uh, antibiotic uh, resistant. So you need to fight very hard with them to, to keep us safe and health. So that's why we need systems like this one to prevent us to get sick, even in the hospital uh, ambience. So mm -hmm. we need uh, this kind of light. Also, they put this kind of light on the air conditioning mm -hmm. to clean the air that we breathe mm -hmm. because it's very important also to clean over there. Now, this isn't just something that you do. You have personal experience in your own life, I believe. If you don't mind discussing, you even use this in your daughter's classroom. Oh yeah, I have been using this kind of system more than eight years. So we, we apply into the child uh, kindergarten mm -hmm. to prevent to a normal flu and we do the, the system over there and we break down a lot more than 85 percent of the sick of the kids because of this system that's amazing now of course with disingerm being that the disinfectant protectant people want to you know maybe buy some bottles for for their home or for their business which is fine that's however fine. this you probably don't want to you could but you probably don't want to buy for your home or office because it should be used by a professional, right? Or That's at least correct. you should train somebody if, they, if they decide to do that. Yeah, right? we can do the service. We can sell the equipment, but also if the person is going to uh, buy the system, he needs to get into a training, mm -hmm. very specific training to manage the safety of the equipment. 
Hmm. Now, how often should someone use a machine like this? Well, in a normal scenario, you should do it every three months mm -hmm. to prevent any kind of a, uh, bacteria growing into your home or your business. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Okay. And then as far as the disinterm, disinfectant, protectant, would you say that's a, probably about an average time as well? Or do some places you feel like they need to be cleaned just as often? That's going to depend on the traffic mm -hmm. or the nature of the business of whatever you got in your home. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, you need to analyze to have, and take on, into consideration what is the traffic. That's why you need a professional to get an assessment of what you need. Good. Now let's just say someone is cleaning with this germ, no problem. Why should they use this? Uh, okay. In a, a scenario where we use this germ that is super effective, this system is going to complement in the term of uh, in a airspace mm -hmm. because it's, it's going to create ozone. So we're going to kill the bacteria in the air, but in the places that the liquid for by default can get there. So it's a perfect match to get a 100% disinfection mm. is with this system and this in your. Yeah. Now car dealerships like Five Star Chevrolet here, they know, they've seen how bad this could be and they want to protect their customers, which is really smart. However, wouldn't you say this would be perfect to use for movie theaters, for malls, for absolutely, stadiums? including there is a kind of system that they, we can put into the, you know, the electric st uh, stairs, mm -hmm. the hang, the oh, rubber yeah, the escalators, mm -hmm. the escalators, where there is a system that we put it back there, so mm -hmm. it's gonna clean the uh, old rubber handle every single time. So we can get into that. Right. Well, everyone knows the handles at the escalators at the mall are probably some of the dirtiest things ever. And, oh, and by far. I didn't even think about that for for that use. But you know, when you start to think about all the things that we have around, light switches, door handles, or those kind of things, we yeah. need to do this. Now, last thing before we wrap this up, of course, we're in a strange time with coronavirus. And now places like movie theaters are starting to open up. And if they're not doing the system, it seems a little bit risky, right? It is. It is super risky. Not even for the coronavirus. It's a lot of bacteria out there that are very dangerous, and it it is growing. The the, the threat is growing very fast. So yeah. we need to take. Uh, so we we need to take advantage of what we know and we got now, so we can clean everything very perfectly. Yeah. That's true, folks, because not only is coronavirus upon us, flu season is right behind it. So you're going to want to disinfect and protect, which means you're going to want the disinfectant service with the UVC protection. So check out disinfectant.com, get all the information. You can get a free consultation, but you're going to want to use this service. So we'll see you at disinfectant.com. And now let's take a look at this wonderful machinery in action. can smell it. Oh yeah. It's very deep. But 
at the same time it's a a very clean smell yeah so you can breathe deeply yeah so you're gonna if you've ever been in front of those ozone machines that's exactly kind of what it smells like but yeah. it smells clean like it just it just really took care of whatever the whatever problem was yeah yeah I'm, I'm curious to know too because you know we're looking at lamps we're looking at phones we're looking at all kinds of things that have touch points that we don't even think about every single day every day when someone comes here and they hold on to the handle oh, yeah. or they get up and they touch yeah. it most of especially this area here you see oh yeah Mm -hmm. over there in this area yeah so mm -hmm. we just kill whatever is in there because of the light whatever is in the roof mm -hmm. everything is everything yeah which is something that we haven't even you know coronavirus made us think so much about the things that you know we kind of took for granted you know we touch the light switch every day just like yeah. so <laughs> it is and that's what happens we but we don't think about how many people touch them especially in bathrooms and things like that so we need to make sure we're clean and protected, not only for us. This all about people. this situation that we are having right now. Mm -hmm. Is you don't know who got sure. the, the virus on it. So it's a thousand people touching the same area that you're gonna touch yeah. by default. So it's very dangerous. That's yeah. why we need to be yeah. very, very careful about how right. we disinfect. Uh, we need to be more effective. Yeah. Like I told you before, there is other bacteria coming in mm -hmm. into the play because every single day the bacteria is getting more powerful right so we need to be on top of that all right and as a reminder folks it's not just coronavirus season it's cold and flu season so you're going to want to make sure you're disinfected and protected